In this video, we're interested in changing linear forms from point slope into something else. Remember, point slope is the one that looks like y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So first, let's start with an example. Let's say we use the example y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 4. That's in point slope form. So what we need to do is transform it to the others. Now, if you remember when we were doing our one-page summaries, we often started with something in point-slope form. We realized it would be very easy to rearrange it and get slope-intercept form. So if I'm rearranging it, I would have 1 half times x because I'm going to distribute. So 1 half x and then 1 half times negative 4, which would be negative 2. And then over here I didn't have to distribute, so I still have y minus 3. Next, I can add this 3 to the other side, to both sides actually. But when it's added to the other side, cancels on the left, and we end up getting something in slope-intercept form on the right side. So we have y equals 1 half x plus 1. This is in the form y equals mx plus b. So we now know that our slope is 1 half and our y-intercept is 1 or it's the point 0, 1. Remember a y-intercept has an x of 0. Now when we were first looking at point slope form we already knew the slope was 1 half. We also knew a specific point. That specific point was 4, 3. So this is just some information that we've gathered so far about the different forms. Next, we can transform this slope-intercept form into standard form by just taking the x to the other side. Remember, standard form looks like ax plus by equals c. So we want to move that x over so we have our x and our y on the same side. So we're going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. Over on the left side, that leaves negative 1 half x plus y equals 1. So what we want to do next is get rid of this negative and this 1 half. We're going to do that by multiplying the whole equation by negative 2. We're multiplying by the negative to get rid of the negative, and we're multiplying by the 2 because that's what a common denominator would be if we were to find one. So negative and negative cancel, 2 and 2 cancel, leaving us 1x or just x. Negative 2 times y gives us a negative 2y. Negative 2 times 1 gives us a negative 2. Now we have an equation in standard form. ax plus by equals c. Remember we could use our shortcuts if we wanted to find our x-intercept, y-intercept, and slope. First, we need to know our a, b, and c. Our a is 1, our b is negative 2, and our c is negative 2. So if we wanted to know our x-intercept, we would use the shortcut c over a. To find our y-intercept, we could use our shortcut c over b. And to find our slope, we could use our shortcut negative a over b. Remember, m is our shortcut for slope or for writing slope. So c over a, that looks like negative 2 over 1 which is negative 2, so as an x point or an x intercept we would have negative 2, 0. Our y intercept, c over b, we have negative 2 over negative 2, which reduces to 1. y intercepts have an x of 0 and a y of 1. For our slope, negative a over b, we would have negative 1 over b, which is negative 2, which is a slope of a half. And we can compare that information to what we got earlier. Our slope here is 1 half, our slope here was 1 half, and our original slope was 1 half. So we didn't mess anything up trying to rearrange. We also, up here, noticed we had a y-intercept of 1. We also showed that we have a y-intercept of 1 down here. The new piece of information we gained was our x-intercept, negative 2, 0. So in this video, I've shown you how to take point slope form and to change it to slope intercept form and standard form. 